A couple of black border runs ago, I accidentally clicked on sunken columns and now it's bugging me that it's unlocked, but we haven't black bordered it yet. So that's what we're doing today. I was a little nervous at first because we've only done two advanced maps so far, being on another brick and dark path. And we ended up using Churchill for another brick, which is why I think our time is slower and dark path was just kind of a tough map and I haven't really played it before. And today, I haven't really played this one either, but I think it's gonna be a lot easier. I'm going into it with really good spirits. We're gonna be using Etienne for most of it. And the only thing I'm really worried about is probably gonna be half cash. Future doubloon here, and unfortunately, I forgot to add the speedrunning timer and I didn't realize until halfway through the filming. So what we're gonna do here is as soon as I drop this Etienne, the timer has started. And as soon as we see the black border at the end, the timer has stopped. And then the final full time will be revealed at the end as always. But that means that you will not be seeing an ongoing timer throughout the video. I'm sorry about that. But I think it'll add a little bit of mystery to it too. And it'll make me less stressed because I won't have a timer running in the background the whole time. So I think if we just start off placing everybody up here. And then I'm thinking a good spot is right there. I did a little bit of practicing on half cash because I wanted to make sure we can actually get through it because lately half cash has been causing the most pain in all of our runs. Like it has been slowing me down by so much time and it's kind of upsetting. So I wanted to get a little bit better and I found this spot here. And the reason why I chose this spot is because we are speed running, so I wanna go as fast as possible. And to do that, I didn't want a bunch of dart monkeys in the middle on something like chimps or half cash. So I wanted them in a good spot where I can hide them off to the corner and still pile this top spot up with some really good towers. Now, I'm not sure if Etienne's the fastest choice or the best choice, but I'm using him over my girl Sada because of that global camo. I just know there's gonna be times that I wish I would have had like a druid with camo on it or even like a glue gunner with camo on it and I didn't have the ability to do that because I didn't have a village to place because there's not that much room for it or whatever it may be. So I thought Etienne would be a solid choice. Plus, I like the fact that his level 10 ability is just a monster. And if something does make it down the screen, we can clean it up with it or just keep us from losing with that UCAV ability. But before we get too far into this, I wanna know what your guys' strategy was for this map and what you did on chimps because I was racking my brain trying to figure out what to do and I think I want to go with like a bottom path sniper. At first I thought middle path sniper because if you go with elite sniper and something like an alchemist, he's super strong but then he's not the best for Moabs. But at least an elite great fender, the bottom path one can kind of take down everything. So that's what I'm thinking about for this run. I'm not exactly 100% on it, but I think I'm gonna test them out a little bit. That's why I want the sniper here because I wanna see what it can do. I figured back in this bottom spot, it can clean up pretty well with its shrapnel shots and kind of just wreck everything. But I've also seen him do pretty bad on some stuff too, but he's so cheap. It's like 15 grand on hard mode for the top one, the fifth tier. So I mean, it's not that bad. And once you get even the third tier sniper bottom path you don't see balloons that much and i think that's pretty awesome and helpful for us here we have camo we have oh actually we don't have lead do we oh my goodness i didn't even think about that so for lead let's just do like a, a another sniper probably huh just keep it simple just go like that and now we have everything covered now if you guys have been following this series along the thing that's been getting me down lately is half cash because I get to round 63 and I have enough money for either a crossbow master or a ultra juggernaut and not much else. And sometimes the ultra juggernaut is ultra powerful and breaks the entire game because of the balls bounce back and forth, like something like corn yard or something, cornfield. But then there's maps like this one, where if I placed him right here up in the top spot, he has nothing really to bounce after. So the juggernaut balls are just gonna be wasted. And then the crossbow master is gonna be chasing and then we just run into problems. So I think we're gonna use just a bunch of like fourth and third tier towers. And a little bit of practicing that I did, I placed the glue gunner here going with like full middle path and it actually slowed everything down enough on 63 that we we're able to just like take it down with bombs and druids. And I think that's the path I'm gonna have to take here to make sure we don't get wrecked on. But then I always forget that Etienne is not the best for Moabs. Like he's really the worst for Moab. So, ooh. but I don't think Sada is the best choice for this one because the reason why is because Sada is placed here and she can't really help. These guys, these little drones are actually attacking better up the screen than Sada and she would actually waste more time having to get to her. At least that's my thought process and I'm sticking to it. 
But what do we do for this one? I guess just leave it like it is. Maybe throw an alchemist down and then use our ability. And then, oh, it's actually really easy. Not a big deal. I was a little worried that I was going to like make it down farther, but that's not the case. But do you see how much money we got because we are on an expert or an advanced map? That is pretty awesome. Now we are on primary only. So, I mean, pretty much the same exact strategy. And not only is this a cool spot, but what I was noticing is it works really well on chimps because it shoots down this path in like a good angle. It is chasing the balloons technically, but it still knocks them out in a good fashion and I'm, I'm really happy about it now if i remember correctly this map is based off of that map from balloon city battles 2 called bath salts right and it's cool for battles 2 it makes sense but for this one i'm not the biggest fan of it and my main hiccup with it is the fact of the water like you can remove it for a thousand dollars which is pretty pricey but that's not what bothers me it's the fact that when you place a sub or a boat here, it can't see up because either these columns are in fact sunken as the map tells you, which would be fine, but it just doesn't do us any good. And so you end up with these useless towers in the middle. I guess that's why you'd remove the water, but what are you gonna remove it for? Farms maybe, I guess? Yeah, that's probably what we're gonna end up having to do, huh? Is like put farms there on impoppable, so remove it for a thousand. But as far as just general gameplay, like you'd have to get all the way up to a top path boat so it can have its plane shooting out for it to matter, something like on Ravine, but Ravine's like a highly hearted expert map and this is not. So I'm just a little confused at what's the plan on this map or why it's like that, but it could just be me, but at least there's crabs. That's kind of cool, I guess. But for lead, we have our camo good and Etienne's gonna make everybody see camo. So I think we'll just put two of these, it's actually kind of fun. We'll put this guy right here and then we'll put him on, I guess last, right? And then we'll go up to lead and then just, I guess, these ones, and then do the same thing on this guy, but put him on last and on lead red. Lead red, there we go. And if we get both of them to 1020, we won't have to worry about leads at all, which is kind of cool. And are there any other heroes that you guys want to see that you haven't purchased yet and you want to get to know or you think one that I'm not using well enough or use a lot? I know a lot of people mention Psy, but I've just not really used Psy that much, so I don't really know the best strategies. Same with like Striker Jones. I try to stay away from him as much as I can. And I just like to use what I know works at this point, I guess, cause we're doing so much better. But I'd also like to learn, cause you know, every single time I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't know this person was so good. Or, oh my gosh, I didn't know this person was so bad. And I need to experience more. So let me know what heroes I should be using out. It just, Etienne's so good and Sada's so good. And I used to rely a lot on Obin. And I do want to do the ninja strategy on one of these things. I want to do the, what do you call that guy? The Grand Master Flex strategy, where you have like 20,000 Shinobi and then one Grandmaster Ninja. We can do that on end of the road. We still have to do that beginner map. I think that'd be a really, really fun strategy. It's just not the fastest until you get up to that point. But it is, I guess technically it is fast because those all make you faster. That's the whole point of it. And if you've never heard of that strategy, check it out. It's a lot of fun. But anyways, that's what we'd use Oban for. And maybe like a Mauler strategy for the Striker Jones. But other than that, like why not just use Oban? No, Etienne and Sada and Geraldo when necessary. And I think that's it, right? Oh, and Benjamin. You only need like three heroes in this game, four if you include Geraldo. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. Hmm. Yeah, I just made my own tier list. It's definitely Sada and then Ben and then Etienne and then Geraldo and that's all you need. Like that should be Bloons TD6 heroes and that's all you need. We're done. There we go, that's it. Primary is always the easiest for sure. But 247 is nothing to complain about. I'm loving it, we're killing it. Deflation. I think for this one, we actually can just do this though. Just do it and call it a day. This is probably a great spot for it. We're not going to 63, so yeah. Okay, that's pretty awesome. We're gonna use this every time that we can. It's just there's sometimes that it's better to do the others. Like when we did encrypted, it was definitely not a good idea to use a crossbow master as your main tower. You're gonna get dunked on with having it two tracks coming out like that. But for this one, not the worst thing in the world. Like if it does come out of this track a little faster, it'll just shoot this way, we're good to go. Here, I'll put a sub here to help. Just kidding, he can't see anything. Makes no sense. 57 is definitely the hardest round before round 60. That is for sure. Those double Moabs coming out like that are always too intense. And even got to this guy's backside over here, but he's able to take it out, of course, with no problems. But I was just thinking, should I do a tier list on game modes? I think that'd be a lot of fun. Obviously, F tier is gonna be half cash, like down at the far bottom as possible. But I'd be more curious of like ranking the ones in between and who's really at the top there. Cause I'm not sure who's at the top, but there's our poopy brown border. We're on to medium mode. And I think same strat, just trying to maybe sniper it up on this one a lot. And then maybe putting this free guy there. And what is cool about this map and what makes it less expert 
and more advanced is the fact that it does come out of over here and then go to there. So if you have a tower here or here, for instance, it is going to come out of this side and go there. So he has two chances to hit, or I guess a chance to hit every balloon that comes out, which is nice. It's not just like separate tracks going down separate paths and making it bad for us. But see, now we're just going to have a bad, bad time here. Oh my goodness. We're taking too much time. So a sniper is good just to have it for the cleanup. So we don't have any problems, but it's also on me at this point. I do need to get better at knowing the rounds. Like on round 10, when that rush comes out, just use his ability. I'm just so babied by Sada's ability that it's like, if you see something slip out of the corner of your your eye you can easily grab it with her ability without even thinking about it but with something like Etienne or Oben you got to think of it ahead of time but so far I do think this is faster than Sada using Etienne I think honestly anybody would be faster than Sada right like even Gwyn would probably have a bigger range Oben would have a bigger range it's just, but Sada can just solo so then it's there goes that point where I'm not spending any money I can just upgrade right away but so far I'm not going slow so we're going pretty fast still here so that's a, not a big deal now what i'm thinking is do you want to farm and get at least one farm or should we start putting other things down like maybe attack shooter to just take out the balloons a lot faster or you know another great one for this might be a mortar because you could just lob right here in this area and knock out a lot of things that's pretty cool actually but so far this sniper is doing really good so i might as well get a little greedy and just get one farm like it's never hurt anybody to farm once and that's totally a lie it's hurt me to farm once many 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 times and look how far we're getting with these balloons dude every time i buy a farm i regret it like right after because it's like that round it knows oh you saved up twelve hundred dollars boom here comes a lot of onslaughts of balloons that you can't take over so what if we also accompany it with one of these ones will that be enough or probably not huh I think what we need to do is just make sure we get the semi-automatic pretty early because I'm struggling here because of my choices. I made bad choices, that's for sure. So let's actually get rid of this farm and then just buy this one for $3,000. I think that's smarter. Like I need a farm, but at the same time, I need to also not let any balloons get past this first column. And I feel like that's my limit. Don't go past the first column, which is a lot to ask for because it has to go all the way over here. So we should be able to keep it from doing that. Oh my gosh, though, I didn't buy the two bottom path upgrades on the farm to sell it for more. God, see, little things like that, like, make me lose money. I'm not sure exactly how much. If you guys know, let me know. But I could have avoided that and probably saved some money there. I was thinking about buying this for 46, a full auto rifle. But then I'm like, or 36, but then I'm like, okay, we can just do this. And I feel like this will cover everything. The cluster bomb's a really, really good tower. And I always forget how great it is. Yeah, see, it just one shot all those. Oh my gosh, here it is again. Once he actually gets popping, he gets popping. That is really nice. Now with going for this marketplace, I am sacrificing for the Moab though, which is gonna be kind of scary. So I'm hoping I can grab 4250 before 40 and I should be able to. And then if I ability right, we shouldn't have any problems. We should maybe take it down like this area here. All right, I gotta sell him just in case, just to make sure, you know? And then we'll wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Ability, is that good? Perfect, oh my gosh, we didn't even get off the first column. That is that is amazing, actually, that's great. I'm cool with that. And then we're gonna actually Alk buff him to make him a little bit even stronger until we get Elite Defender. And now we have this team, and I don't see it going past the screen at all. This is awesome. And this is why I gotta love this tower. Already before 50, we have an Elite Defender, and with a bigger radius and jungle drums, plus an Alchemist, you have something that I believe is cheaper than the bottom path plane, all this together. And it's keeping them off the screen better because the bottom path plane, the spec tree, is really good. But it also likes to shoot in random patterns. So it'll like go over here and then and then you'll lose. Not lose, but just lose time. And so I think this is, this is awesome, actually. And when everybody sees camo, I totally forgot. I was thinking I have to get some for him, but no, because Etienne. I have not seen a balloon in a while. This is really, really cool. The sniper is great. It might be better than the Spectre. I'm not exactly sure, but that's why we're running tests right now. But I just got $412 for an easy medium game. If you guys want to make money, get to those advanced maps. Follow this if you need to, because this is where the money's at for sure. Now, since we get that first military cheaper, and I just, I can't wait until we get the monkey knowledge that allows everything to be like even 5% cheaper, I think it was, to where everything's just gonna be super duper duper cheap. But I don't wanna waste it on like a sniper, but I feel like I have to because you can't use a sub, you can't use a boat, and we're just gonna keep losing lives and time like this. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, a mortar could be cool, but I think a helicopter would be even better. Honestly, we seen something at this point. We can't keep doing this. So I guess the sniper is the choice and I probably should have gone with it a little bit sooner. Now in my head, I'm telling myself that we just need to beat the two other advanced times. 
And with the best one being two hours and 50 minutes, I think I can do that with my eyes closed. But my heart's telling me like, no, 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 we could do even better than that. We're going to actually set one of the, we're going to take most of these intermediate times down with this one, I'm hoping. I think we can keep it under two hours and 30 minutes just because it's a relatively short map. Now it's a little bit harder and there's things like this when we were, we're losing some balloons here and there. But for the most part, there's not much trouble to this. And you do have a lot of time to react, just not with Etienne though. So like if balloons get too far, like what do you do? You panic and you place down the wrong tower and you lose. I don't want that to happen. So, but I'm, I'm contradicting myself. I'm saying it's a short map and it's gonna go fast when I'm saying it's long enough that you can like react to it. So eh, let's just say it's a happy medium, but it's a good chance to go pretty far with this. But now my helicopter costs 1600 bucks. So I think we should just go with the mortar instead and call today. Because right when you place them right here, it's pretty awesome. And as long as you don't get increased accuracy, it's going to bounce around everywhere, popping everything anyway. I'm not liking these leads though. That was not what I was expecting. I thought the mortar would be a lot better. But as you can see, it like takes forever. I thought he was going to have a really, really big range since I have him where he's at. But that's, oof, do I need to go bigger? I guess so. Let's go this one and see if it helps out a little bit better. Because that was pretty bad. Yeah, that, that looks way bigger of a bomb explosion for sure. Now, since this is a really good team so far, we have everything covered, especially since we have like the total UCAV. So all LEDs, camo LEDs, the whole shebang's covered. I kind of want to get a little bit of money, but I also wish there was a way to make this guy attack. But having 20 rounds to build up cash with this guy, I think what, like out of 100 and 200 a round, it's pretty nice. And we'll use that to get to the elite defender. But it's so weird having a completely useless tower that can only make, he got pops? How do you get pops? Is it because the Moab crosses over? Or do you get all the balloons that cross over? Does that work? What? Now I kind of want to let some leak just to see if that's the truth. That's crazy. It's true. He can. He just got another, what is that, 20 pops or so? So if they cross over, he can hit them. So you need like something that's just super strong that can just one shot. So like the middle path cannon ship. But that's, that's ridiculous. Why would you spend that much money just to get dunked on every once in a while. That's crazy. But now we shouldn't have anything get that far in the first place with him here. Well, I kind of want to test out to see if the plane's better and I think this is the time to do it. So I'm just going to try it out. And I don't think it will be. Yeah, the sniper seems to be way faster. Because even going with just this basic bottom path is faster. Let's get rid of this one and then check it. Oh, we don't have enough for it yet. Here we go. Just this one will keep things at bay longer. I think he can see past the track faster than the plane can. I mean, it's not like it's terribly different to where we're gonna lose 10 minutes by using it, but it's just a little wild that like the plane costs more. But if you just get this guy, he's so much better, the bottom pass sniper. So why did I always used to call him the elite dumb fender? He's the elite great fender for sure. But I do think I should utilize this big old bang guy here, the big one for a lot of these game modes because he is a great cleanup. And it's just huge and it hits the entire area like massively. Okay, there we go. Are we already on? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not doing that. We're gonna use our girl Sada. We'll use even Ghost Sada here. No, Etienne. No, I need Etienne though, huh? Oh, I don't remember now. I don't remember. I'm just gonna use Sada and hope for the best. Oh my gosh. Was it Etienne that I needed to use? I don't remember. I'm trying to remember who I used on half cash. I believe it was Etienne, but now I'm thinking like, oh, did I use Sada so I should use Etienne for this one? But I'll tell you what, we're not messing around. I'm not doing this to where we get dunked on and I feel bad about myself and I'm really upset. We're just gonna grab a Druid right off the go with the Sada and I think we'll be in the clean run. I always mix up Apocalypse and half cash because you don't get any money on either of them. And they're both kind of difficult. Half cash being like 10 times harder and way worse for sure, but at the same time, like, oh my gosh. And not to mention, I practiced half cash last week. I had some extra free time, so I'm like, oh, I'm gonna play balloons for some fun. And I'm like, oh, I'll actually like practice some sunken columns for the next Black Border series video. And then I'm playing it, and I'm like, oh, this is pretty easy half cash, but now I don't remember what I did. <laughs> I know I used the glue gunner. I, d I don't think it really matters. I think I'm always so focused on getting a juggernaut or getting a, like a fifth tier bottom paths dart monkey that I'm like, oh, I have to have a fifth here, otherwise I won't win. But that's just not the case. A couple bombs and glue can do, go really, really far in this game. I think I'm being spoiled myself by using Crossbow Master on deflation, because I've always used really cheap towers on deflation. And then, because that's like a way of building up your defenses too. Like you can learn what cheap third and fourth tier towers to use to get farther in the game. But when you just throw a crossbow down, you're like, oh, I need a crossbow on 63. That's the only way to beat it. And that's just not the case. 
But the security blanket that is Sada is just amazing by so far, and I'm never gonna not fanboy. Just having that first ability makes my life so much easier and so less stressful, because if anything gets too far, and if I time it right, I can land it right here and we'll just cover both ends. Actually, no, they go down here and go out both tracks too, so it doesn't matter where she lands, both sides are gonna hit it, I think. As long as it's down here, yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's just so cool. But I honestly believe I should change the title from how fast can you black border such and such map to like how many times can I fanboy over Sada in one game? Because that's pretty much what this turns into. That's why I'm trying to stay away from her and I'm trying to use Etienne. I feel like I've become too dependent on Sada and I'm probably ruining life for the both of us, me and her. So I need to like step back a little bit, take a chill pill. And I just lost some monkey money there. Oh man, I just lost some bananas. So I've been patiently saving up for this farm and normally I go with like two of them and then sell them over, but I don't think we need to. I've been watching it really closely and I think you get different seeds for Apocalypse, right? That's what I've been told before. So it's not gonna be the same every single time that you play it from the start to the finish. And so far, this one's been pretty easy. I haven't had anything slip through, no problems. We're keeping them at pretty much at bay. So I'm just like, oh, what should I go with here? What I kind of want to do is put a top path spike factory at the bottom because that's like a total safety measure. But then what if I just take everything down from the front and don't have to worry about that to begin with? Like if I go all the way up to this one, this might actually be a solid play. I never really go Bloom Jitsu unless I'm trying to get like somewhere on Chimps or Impopable, but it's a really strong tower. And if you pair it with like a right up on, oh, we got the, we got the Ninja Paragon. I'm never going to use it in this series or probably ever on this account, but we got it. That's pretty cool. But if you pair it with an up in your face alchemist to hope sure that he gets all of his acidic mixture juice on the Bloom Jitsu, you got a really, really, really strong tower. And then you clean everything up with the Druid. But my happiest wish right now would be to get all this guy up and then also get my top path like a third tier spike factory and we are golden. Because don't these last forever because the round doesn't technically end because you're not getting money so they never disappear right away, right? Like don't they just, I think they go forever. Yeah, I think it's like a cheat code. How come we haven't used this before on Apocalypse? I totally forgot about the greatness of this and that's insane. And honestly, I don't see if anything will ever even get to that point since we have this awesome dude down here. I'm gonna grab another one even, just to make it even a little crazier. Dude, we're swatting down those Moabs. I did not know that, well, I knew that two of them were good because that's how you use the Grandmaster Ninja strategy. Get two buffed up ninjas and you're good to go. But we're taking down fortifieds like it's nobody's business. I think I should just throw an extra bomb in here too to clean up whatever's left. Oh yeah, this is like one of our cleanest runs for sure. Oh, we're gonna have to wait for those to come all the way down here. That's a little bit of a bummer, but that's what we have it there for, and it doesn't slow the round down, so that's pretty cool. Not bad, not bad. I like this a lot, and I can sell this one, buy another one up here. Now we got this super cool team. Oh my gosh, it just already finished. I thought we were gonna have to go a couple more rounds. Like, always, that always happens to me. Let's go back to Etienne, though. Um, Etienne, where are you? Oh my gosh, that is wasting so much time. And then we're now we're on reverse, which is the same exact thing, so really not a big deal at all put Etsy in here. At least you just like stare down at the right path. And then, oh my gosh, I can even put it here. Oh, that's like literally the same exact thing. It is a exact same thing. And for OCD purposes, we'll put another one right there. There we go. Perfect team. And I'm not even going to mention on this run that reverse is useless and pointless and it should just be added to another game mode. And I don't like doing it. I'm not even going to say that this time. We're just going to go through it calmly and in an orderly fashion and destroy it. Honestly, I'm so proud of what the ninja did. We should just use him for this run and just call it a day and it really quickly. This is the point in the video where I realized that I do not have a time clock running this entire time. Hopefully I mentioned something in the beginning and did a little bit of a pause so you know public service announcement that I messed it up, but I cannot believe that. But luckily, I'm not taking any breaks during this run. We're running straight through it so I can use my OBS recording studio timer as the actual timer, which I'm so glad there's that there because that would have been so discerning and so upsetting. And I almost threw a fit in my head and almost teared up just now just for the fact that I'm like, oh my gosh, because what have I told you before? You cannot go back and restart a run. That is straight cheating. You cannot restart a run because we already know it worked. We already know what got it done. And is that the same as practicing? No, it isn't. It's different because I've already talked the entire time. Imagine having to go back and redo everything I just did. It's not possible. So we run with it and we get the best time that we possibly can. So what we're gonna do too is if it's like real, real close to another since we don't have down to like the milliseconds that the other timer does, 
we'll just shove this one below it for that extra mess up. But oh my goodness, have you guys ever made such a silly or dumb mistake like that when you're doing something? Like obviously this is just playing a monkey game, it's not the most important thing in the world, but it's important enough to me that it's very, very upsetting that I did that. And what is the biggest mistake that you guys have made? But I mean, obviously I'm not asking like biggest mistake, because I mean, I made bigger mistakes in my life than playing monkey game and forgetting the timer, but just what's the biggest oof that you've made when you're doing something along the lines of this or playing a sport or just whatever you're doing and you just went, oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. I'm actually really upset right now. Why do I always have to go through these things and upset myself? Why can't I just have a chill time and play? It's supposed to be like my me monkey meditation hour or my chillax and like Netflix and chill, but it's like balloons and pops. And that's what it's supposed to be. And I always do something to make it silly or dumb. If it's not messing up half cash, it's forgetting the timer. So that one was actually not bad. It's just reversed, but I'm really getting obsessed with this sniper here. He's just too clean for this and it's perfect. So there's our silver border already. We're already on the hard mode. And in my hour of little desperation here and being upset about what happened, I'm actually very excited about it now that I think about it because I don't know the time until we're done. The reason being is because the intros do take longer once I hit that record button. Oh my gosh, what's going on here? Oh, cause we saw a different mode already, huh? We gotta do double dart monkeys here. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. We're on a different round than we started on like medium, so it's too much for us already. I can place my sniper, get him going. That's why I like the sniper here too. He's gonna make it this a lot shorter for us when things get by. But I'm gonna have to go back in post edit, and as soon as I place that tower, that's when I'm gonna start the timer and see from there when I ended it to see what our time frame was because my intros are a little bit longer, so I can't go from when I just started the recording. I have to go from when I dropped the tower. So I don't have any idea where we're at right now. And I think it's actually very invigorating and very nice because usually I'm like stressed and I'm looking at the time, but I can't stress. I can't look at the time, so I don't care. We're just gonna run through it and it makes it a little bit more fun and it makes it more fun for you guys because you can't see where we're at either. But this might ultimately turn out to be like worse and it's because I'm not keeping score, keeping track. I'm like, oh my gosh, where am I? And we do worse than forever because I'll be like, oh, I don't, I don't care that the balloon went all the way down this way because I don't see a timer clicking in the side of my head. But who knows? It's actually, it just makes it more fun, more exciting. Now here's where I got to think of something smarter for the rest of these rounds coming forward is because just going for a sniper all the way to 3240 is pretty expensive and it's not the fastest way to do things. And we're going to start losing balloons here and we're going to have to change it up so what should i buy in the meantime i think a mortar would be good but i also want to farm pretty early on too so i need to do oh, i don't know what to do what should we do first i'm kind of at the point where i should just get semi-automatic at this point but look how long this round's taking because of that i don't know maybe we could just go like this and just rock it all right since we're already at that point and i already wasted all this time let's just do this one now and then we'll do it on the next one, we'll change it up a little bit. Now we won't do it next time. I'm little, oh, I'm just all over the place. I don't know what, that was not a good choice. And now we still need lead popping. So I'm gonna place one here in case we get a sniper later. Oh, we need it like right away. That was actually just bad timing all around. So, you know, since that happened, I'm gonna actually change it up a little bit. We're gonna go with full auto rifle first instead of farming. I'm gonna farm after the Moab because I'm thinking I'm gonna go a little bit faster in the beginning rounds, lose less balloons and then we'll farm mid rounds, make up for it, clean it up with the end, especially since this elite defender is such a cheap price. We don't have to like save up a million dollars for our fifth tier. See, now we're cooking with fire. This thing is going and we can take down the Moab no problem. And since we have camo detection, I should just get the better sniper too. Do we even need farming? Should I just not even worry about it and just go with like all these awesome pop towers and just call it a day? Well, yeah, we need to farm. Like it's taking so long to get any money. Let's be realistic here. And normally I'd have to buy a village right now and spend $35,000, $4,000 or so to get it up to camo. But Etienne changes all of that. We are good to go. We can pop camo lead. We can pop regular camo. We can pop purple camo. We are just golden right now. Why do I always try to farm so early? Like this is a great golden opportunity. Like we can take down the 40s, no problem. We can take down the first 50 or 52 even. So, I mean, like if you just mass farm right now, you're good. Yeah, I kind of like this. I don't know if I'll stick to it, but before 50, we have three marketplaces. We didn't sacrifice a lot of time. That was the first time I've had a balloon slip through and we have the Moabs next, which we have this one and this one to clean it up. That's not the worst. Yeah, that's not the worst. That's not the bad at all. But if I go like this, oh, wrong one. Oh my gosh, what a waste of money. I wanted this one to help clean up a little bit if I go like that and now I go like that. And I didn't need the camo, but it did give me extra range, which is why I went with it. And now I got this cool little team here and I can save up 15,000 for the Elite Defender. And I'm using the Elite Defender so heavily, I just can't help but think like, why haven't I been using it before? And I think it's the tracks, right? This just feels better. 
all the balloons being up here coming down, I think he's just attacking better than he would on any other track, right? Like, end of the road would probably be good because it's like one straight line, but I just feel like this is made for him right now. The question is, though, is the bottom pass sniper good enough for 63? And it looks like it is, but I'm also using this one. Let's see how much damage he actually gets during a rush. Not much at all. So it is all of him. Let's check this third rush. And it looks like we are, in fact, getting a ton of pop. So, yeah, he's covering it all himself, which is, it works. That's fine. And then this guy does help clean up later. But our Moab popping power isn't all that popular with an elite sniper. And I don't want to get a main Moab because if you get a main Moab, then you just slow the whole game. And actually, you don't slow it down, right? Oh, you don't because all the snipers can see outside of the track. It only slowed down if it was like a plane. Oh, this might actually be really, really, really good. And just like that, I have the dream team here. I almost have a fifth tier dream team. I think these sell for five, so I have about 15 grand. He's another four grand, so that's 19,000, $20,000. And I only need 34. And there it is, there we go. Let's just sell everything and we'll buy this one. And I'm wondering though, like, does this slow it down? Like, does he have priority since he's taken out the Moab class? He's like the main Moab. I don't think so, right? Cause like, how come no one's attacking right now? That's weird. Is there just the lull in the screen and they're just so fast at attacking? I don't know, man. This is the Axis of Havoc though on Chimps if we can knock it out. We should probably try to go for it. I just don't like going for the Axis of Havoc or three snipers on Chimps because you end up with this tower who you really want him for his money abilities and he doesn't give you a dime. So it's just kind of like, ugh, that middle path's just a waste. But I cannot complain about this and I'm gonna have a first strike and I'm just gonna keep hitting the ability. Well, I guess I can't, huh? Cause it'll use it on like a Moab or something. That's not good. So I guess as soon as it turns 80 though, I'll just hit it. But our main Moab, cripple Moab thing's doing so much damage is ridiculous. Are right, you ready for it? I'm ready for it. It's all about that timing. There we go. There we go. Super instant, fast level 80, $660. That's what I'm talking about. Now we are on magic monkeys only. Should I go with not Etienne? I'm kind of confused. Like, I don't know what to do. Okay, okay, okay. I know what to do now. I'm thinking, well, we're going to eat some lives here, especially on round four, unless I can time it right and not be an idiot. And I think we can manage it. Okay. Ah, oh, dude, come on. Okay, whatever. We wasted some time there. I, I figured we would. And we're going to waste some more time here. So do I go with a druid first or a ninja first? Because at least I know the ninja will wreck everything. Well, we got to get it all anyway. So I guess a ninja... Yeah, yeah, ninja's better. Such a waste of time in these earlier rounds, though. Now, normally I'd put this guy at the bottom since he can see camo anyway with Etienne. There's no point, but I'm not sure if I'm going to go with Spirit of the Forest, so it might be safer to put him up here in case I do, and then his strongest bramble vines will be at the top rather than at the bottom, and then we we'll waste all that time. I just don't know what else we would go for besides Spirit of the Forest in this case. Like, Archmage could work, but he's not the best for 63. And I always just end up with spirit because the middle path gives you money at that fourth tier. So it's just worth it because you make like $2,000, which doesn't hurt. And of course, Druid of the Jungle is just broken. It always is. Like now everything's just going to stay up there. It's almost as good as the sniper. Like things get by. Yeah, but that's why we have this little cool ninja here with the shurikens or shur shurikens, shur shurikens, shurikens. Ah, who cares? They're something, right? And they throw stuff and they are winning because they're really, really, really good. And then we're going to get the couch drops. And then normally my practice is always to get up to the double shot. So a three zero two, just like you see here. And then I get the alchemist to a three two zero. And then I save up for the balloon jutsu. But when you have this guy here, you don't have to worry about anything getting through. And so you're completely safe to go for balloon jutsu. And then you're super strong and he's going to be popping camo lead soon. So we got everything covered just with Etienne and a druid. It's so crazy. Hang on. Will this spot only hit the alchemist? or the ninja? Well, okay, if I was trying to hit the druid and I had that much on his head, not a chance in the world. But since I'm not trying to hit the druid, I feel like it might hit the druid. That's usually, oh, what the heck? I didn't want to buy that one. <laughs> I overbought there. I never buy thunder. I don't know why. I just feel like it's not necessary. It's such a waste of money. But okay, we're good there. And I'm hoping this guy never has any potion on him. And he shouldn't. And it looks like he's not. I actually got to work out the game in my favor. Like, because it's not touching him. But you never know. Here's round 40. And we got it. And I forgot to use my ability. We didn't even need it. So that's great. Now, I think the best plan of attack would be to start using... The middle path jungles bounty just to see how much money we can get hopefully get spirit otherwise my plan is just to put like oh duh oh duh this would be the best tower for this map like the best because if you don't pick a spot for it it's gonna go down both sides 
and his range is in all of it. Yeah, it's completely, I think, I can't really tell. Oh, he's being elk buff too, so it's going like past it all. So everything is in his pop range. Oh yeah. Now we're not getting the money, but I guarantee you we'll have Prince of Darkness before that time. And I know from personal experience that the Ninja Alchemist combo can carry till 60 on their own. So we are golden right now. This is gonna be one of the fastest Magic Monkeys only. Normally I don't like to go with the bottom path wizard because he's just so random and doesn't really work sometimes and it can't take down the big dogs, but this is gonna be great. And even before 60, that's not bad. And we should get a full graveyard on this round alone. And I don't think it'll ever leave because we have a ninja to take down the big dog and then we'll just clean it everything up with him. That is actually really, really, really good. I think we can make it even more busted. Like if we go with the bottom path on this one, the one that like does really good damage against Moabs, I'm worried about 63 a little bit, but probably not since we have like dead BFBs flying everywhere. And I'll just use the ability because why not? Make it even easier for ourselves. Look, he's not even attacking. I've never even seen the dragon not attack. Okay, got a little bit at the end there. That was awesome. What I am curious though, is if I put it in the middle here, will it only go one side? It's only going, how does it know? Like, what if I put it over this side? It doesn't even know what it's doing. So you can't choose. You just have to let it do its own thing. That's crazy. But it's gonna have a forever unlimited, this is an unlimited graveyard because we're popping everything on this platform and he can see the entire platform. That is, that is really, really cool. And now that we have the Dark Knight just in case, and it'll take down BFBs faster so we can just pummel over the Moab class, no big deal. Well, that was one of the fastest Magic Monkeys only I've ever seen, to be honest. So without a doubt, it's the bottom path wizard and the Spirit of the Forest are the only way to knock this one out for sure. They're so, 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 so quick. We're climbing through as fast as we can. It is double HP mob, so the setup's gonna be the exact same as the other ones, just the double HP mob, so let's speed it up. Okay, so it's not totally the same. I totally forgot that the first time we went for that 3240 right off the go on hard mode, which was a little silly, but now I'm thinking like, no, it wasn't silly because I'm getting kind of dunked on here. So I'm thinking we should go with this one because that worked a pretty, pretty good actually earlier. We went with this one and then this one. Does it cover most? I think it will, it, it should anyway. It's not terrible, the, you know, the leads are pretty bad, but for the most part, I think it'll be okay. And then we'll get semi-automatic here. And then that should cover most of it. And then we're just going to Moab Assassin anyway. So I don't really need to be concerned about Moab popping power at 40, right? Yeah, so we can actually save up even better. But we do need to speed it up. So the semi-automatic before the farm for sure. Now I just want to try to get the farm and the Assassin before 40. I don't think that's possible. I think I'm pushing my limits here. And if you didn't notice, I'm trying to stay away from the Druid if I can. Not like out of just... Well, no, it is. I'm trying to stay away from because I want to like explore more things and try new things. And like, I think using like the mortar on this is really cool and just trying things that I would normally not try, but I try them. I don't try them as much because I'm just so reliant on the druid. Like it's so crazy how much I use it. But I think for this one, see, I already, I already think I, I already made a boo-boo on that. Maybe not though, because 39, you get a good chunk of money. Plus you get 400 from this one. Okay, there's no chance. So I'm just going to do this now. Oh my gosh, that guy helped that much? Are you kidding me? <laughs> that guy helped that much? Oh my gosh, I did not know. He was actually doing a lot of the work. Holy smokes, that was actually insane. So I think we need to do this as well. We'll just actually take it down with like the old fashioned way. That's insane to me, <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, 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 we got it or no? Yeah, we got it, okay. A little bit slow, a little bit slower than I wanted to, but it's fine. And then we'll just grab this one. Oh, you just never know. <laughs> I think I need to add something else here just for pure like not losing. I think a dragon's breath would be a great addition here because I'm just not where I need to be. So that'll help out. And then I think deadly precision will help. We just need to tear it down enough. So then the 4250 bottom pass sniper can do the rest of the work because I do need the elite defender, but I don't know. We're doing pretty good. Okay. That's not the worst. It's a little slow to take it down, but it's not the worst thing in the world. So once we get elite defender and our main Moab, hopefully, and our cripple Moab, so nothing's getting past that first column, which is nice, but the Moabs are making it pretty far. I don't, I don't think now that I got the Elite Great Fender, but I think I have more farms than I did on regular hard mode as well. So we're doing a little bit better, I think, but I don't want this one anymore. Like we don't need it for the cleanup, but why get rid of it now? I'm all over the place guys, but what I'm thinking actually, this is probably the best course of action. We're gonna do this. Ooh, 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 I got even a better plan. Okay, we're gonna put you, we're gonna, Get rid of you, which is kind of a crazy idea, I know, but we're gonna do it. And we're gonna go all the way up to here, that one. And why not just go with this one too? And then we're gonna buy a bunch of bombs. And we're gonna go all the way up because they're free on the bottom path, why not use it? 
Or at least the top path, right? Well, that was short-lived, so I guess I'll just go around buying all these things, too. Not terrible, though, and when I see a Fortified, I can just use the ability, but I haven't even seen one in a while, so we're doing just fine. And I'm pretty sure the extra benefit of going with this top path farm or village is the fact that these actually regenerate quicker, too. So if you use one, which we're not even using, they'll regenerate super quick. Every time I think I'm going to assassin, there's nothing to even assassin. Like, there's no mobs even coming down here. I guess when we finally get to the fortified ones. But I'm going to grab this guy just for a better cleanup. Because I am a little bit worried about, like, 76 and 78. But for this, like, where is the BFP? Okay, there's a the BFP. I'm just going to use the ability. And it's already done. That's already done. And 78 is going to be super easy. And then, of course, for 80, we have to use a sub strike here. That's the only way to beat it. And I think with enough money, can we just buy one of these mob eliminators and just call it a day? And just start using it? Just, like keep abusing the ability and use all these ones just click all of the abilities all the time because we can yes we can and then i'm just gonna keep hitting them and nothing's happening because there's not <laughs> double hp so easy once you get better at it then just use the first strike and it's done you don't even see anything we got 660 dollars that's the way to do that right there 100 percent i'm okay with it half cash go back to sada of course where is she go sada this time sure it matches the map i hate this one Half cash, we're gonna stay positive as we possibly can though. So I'm gonna go with this one. This is what I practiced. And then a sniper, I think that was it, yeah? Yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it. And I'm gonna leave him like on strong and then like move him around. I think that's the fastest way. Now you don't need to leave him on strong to like pop them all, but I just want like the fastest possible and I think that's the best way to do it. Oh, see, I already messed up because I should have put this guy there. Now I could have had a buddy. So that's a little bit slow, but I'm a little, uh, just a little uh, antsy about it, but we'll get there. I'm on strong again. Now I'm thinking I should just be able to go straight to Sada because as you can see, like it's doing pretty well. He pops it over there and then he'll shoot it down this way and pop a couple if he needs to. Meanwhile, I'm popping all the strong ones and we're going really quick. And I also want to add that I think this is the first map that I didn't lose a life on half cash. Like usually, or is that when I use no monkey knowledge? I think that's, yeah, I think that's no monkey knowledge. But either way, pretty excited about it. We're doing pretty good. And we'll get her this round. Yeah, 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 right now. Oh, dude, so easy, so easy. Let's just be real. Is there any way I can get the Elite Great Fender by 63? That's not what I practice, and I don't want to go off the beaten path here, but, I mean, that could work. Like, what if that works? Oh, my gosh, I never thought about that. No, 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 it can't, though, right? Because it's 4250 for the fourth tier. I think it's, like, 3000 for the third tier, and we can maybe get a cross master for lucky and that's 20 grand so that doesn't make up for that extra or it might it actually might i'm gonna go for it i don't care let's just live a little i mean worst case scenario we we lose and i get really upset and we have to restart the whole thing i mean that's worst case scenario barely have enough for lead to pop on 28 oh my goodness i Kind of cut that one a little close, but we still have 200 bucks. We're good enough. Now, what I'm thinking though, the problem that we're going to have is that I'll barely have a 022 sniper, and that's not going to cut it for obviously a Moab because we only have a Druid, which is terrible at Moabs, and then a sniper, which is terrible at Moabs, like this one anyway. And so we won't pop it. That's just, that's all there is to it. So maybe I can throw in like a middle path bomb just to at least take it down, and then we can clean up from there. That's actually not a bad idea. Unless, is it possible that I can get semi-automatic by 3240? Okay, I, I know this is slowing it down, but I need to take it, a chance on it. Because if I can get semi-automatic, we are fine. And I don't have to buy a bomb and waste money on it. And that could be very, 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 very awesome. And we just did it. Okay, I'm happy. I'm happy. Go for it. Sada, he'll take it down and then plop. And there we go. That was it. Game over. I think we're good. I can farm. Okay, this is one of those bad calls, though. I won't have 4250 by 50. And so we won't be able to take everything down, I don't think. Because Sada, like, we need Sada to clean up. I'm going to take the chance here, which is really stupid. Why do I do this to myself? We need 4250, 4590, and there's no chance. I can maybe Alk buff a little bit to, like, help out with those guys. But I just don't think that's worth it. I don't know. We're going to have to maybe take a chance here. Oh, we're getting a lot of money, though. Like, a lot. Is it because of this one? Oh, my gosh. We're going to be able to do this. We're going to be able to do this. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Might as well, right? Might as well. It's working. Just use it. Because you know what I didn't account for? Sada being stronger by that point. Oh, we're not going to be able to take down the fourth rush though, huh? And then let's go. Just, like I'm going to slow it down and then right here just hit it. And then it'll cover all of them. There we go. That saves me. Because we need, let's see here, 52 plus 26. That's 78,000. 7,800, sorry. And this guy is 15,000. So I see $8,000. And then we could buy it. But I also need more because i would like to have an alchemist and a village otherwise i don't know if we can actually take down 63 
Not to mention this rush on 59. Not to put it right there. And then hopefully it's enough. It's enough. It was. Oh my goodness. We are killing it. And then for this one, just go like this. And that's good. Game over. Drop an ability right there just for the cleanup. I think I need it. I think I need it. Do I need it? No, I don't. It's that simple. Seriously? Okay, that's that's a bad... Ugh, that's wasted time there. Should have just sold, but I didn't want to waste it and scare myself. So I didn't. So we're going to do this then. And then 15... I might as well sell this one and then buy this guy. There we go. Well, at least now for the future, I'll know that it's possible. I just wasn't sure if this guy can handle 63 on his own. And I'm still not sure. But I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. I probably should have gone with the village with jungle drums before this guy. But I should be okay. Okay, that was way too rough. But maybe the alchemist will help on the next one. Oh, that yeah, was way quicker that time. That was way quicker. And then for this one, just go whoop, done. I'm not an expert or anything, but unless I make like a fatal mistake, we're going to be fine. Like we're going to do really good and beat all the rest of our time so far because I didn't know how good the sniper was for half cash. I don't know about every map, but this one's doing just fine. I'm very happy with it. You know what I should probably do too is I should probably farm again, like before the end. So right after I get the setup with the third tier sniper, I should probably buy another farm, get up to marketplace and rock it till about like 75, 78, somewhere around there. Because I know people say like farms don't help on half cash, but it does. Like we wouldn't have gotten that without that. So I'm very, very grateful. And I'm thinking the only thing that could really help at this point is just like more destruction for the Moabs, right? So maybe just as many of these as I can get just to help take them down so we can clean them up later. What I can't forget though is on 76. I know for a fact the Elite Grafender cannot take him out. I think he starts like the biggest Regal Rush of all time. So we're going to have to use Sada's ability, which is kind of scary because then I don't know if we'll have her. Well, no, we'll have her for 78. She's like really strong, right? Okay, let's see. And then go like that. Just in case. I don't know if she can make it, but I don't want to test it. Oh, but actually no, because the Druid will make them all unregrow at that point. Oh man, this is such a good team. And I always remember the first rush on 78 because like it's easy. And I don't need to really use ability. Oh my gosh, I was gonna say I don't need to use <laughs> abilities because everybody can see camo or not see camo. But then that second rush is actually easier, but only he can see, oh, because the alchemist. So see, that's such RNG as I like to say, and I hate it. So if the alchemist has his juice going, he can shred anything in his face. So you could restart 78 like six different times and each time will be different based on what the alchemist gave you or didn't give you. That's kind of wicked. So we're going to hit this ability here, kind of clean it up. And then I know we can beat it for sure. I just don't know how fast. And then there we go. That was pretty fast. I'm happy with that. All right. So next is going to be sunken columns, hard and alternate blue rounds. Let's stick to Etienne for the rest of this duration. I think he's the best choice for it just because that alternate camo, <laughs> he just does everything great. And then we have that there. Now, what do we need? We need lead, right? No, we need camo too. Cause Etienne can't see camo for a while. Ooh, that's going to actually hurt us. I didn't think about that, but he's not the best choice for this at all, at all, at all. Oof. Just the early rounds, we'll clean it back up in a second, but just the early rounds are pretty bad. So I got my ninja here, but now are we gonna have lead pop in? We're gonna lose that too, aren't we? Okay, so I'm gonna let this last round slide. And if another camo comes through, we're just gonna stop because I need to now get a druid and the top path for that druid in the good amount of time here. I think I could do it, but I need like $700. Yeah, we could do it. No, apparently we can't do it. Oh, that's not good. Oh, whatever. It's just a couple, right? Oh man, we are just getting dunked on right now. This is totally my fault. Oh my goodness. Okay, I got this one. We're good. We got that covered. That was a very, very slow start to alternate balloon rounds, but I still think it was better time saving than to go back, get Sada and start over. Like we didn't waste that much time, I don't think. Another bummer is camo lead. We don't even have enough for that. Can I buy this at least? Okay, we'll just have to do that for the first one and then wait until he becomes camo lead ability. That's too much. Oh my goodness. Alternate blue rounds is tough, but I don't know what we're doing with this one. We're just kind of rolling with it. The only ones I practiced were half cash and then a little bit of chimps. I just wanted to see if I can get past 40 with an Etienne and I was able to, and I think we can make it to the end with my plan, hopefully. But this one, I'm just in the dark for it, but we're almost to all buddy, everybody sees camo. So I'm gonna do a little bit of farming cause we just have to worry about that first Moab. So I probably shouldn't farm to be honest cause it's a fortified Moab, isn't it? Oh, it is, isn't it? Oh goodness. Okay, so we'll stop farming now. Let's just get that set straight. Okay, everybody can see camo so I can sell that one for 720 buy a balloon jitsu and then just buff him up like crazy and that should be enough to take down a fortified i'd hope so anyway because remember all we got to do is take it down and then i think the druid could do most of the work 
But if the alchemist hits his juice just right, I think the ninja can take it all down on his own. What about this instead of the another alchemist up to like 3,200? That's three grand right there. What if we just get another Blunjitsu? Is that a better choice? But now I don't think we're gonna have enough money for it. Ugh. Yeah, not a chance, not a chance, not a chance. Use your ability. Okay, that was, it worked, but it was just slow and stupid and dumb and I didn't like it. I'm gonna farm now. Leave me alone. Oh, I totally forgot. You get more Moabs like right away. Oh, dude, I need to stop forgetting how this game works. I just get like discouraged and then just go into like dumb, dumb mode. We need to buy another Bloom Jitsu and then the Alchemist and then we can take on whatever comes after us, which is nice. I was thinking about doing the Grandmaster Ninja Strat on this, but it would take too much setup just because you couldn't fit all the ninjas on here but that'll be a really really fun one too i went a little greedy and got five farms but i haven't really seen that many balloons get past me and this team's just kind of killing it so i figured hey why not let's just go for it but now i don't know what to buy like what should we get just to go crazy on this the sniper is great but alternate balloon rounds has a lot of fortifies and it's kind of awful but why fix what's not broken we've been using this and it's working great so far and now i'm like starting to lose because i'm not thinking <laughs> like what are you doing dummy just go with it as soon as i think i'm safe that's what i get wrecked the most that's so goofy and then i always forget too that i do have etienne's ability so those fortified bfbs are like no problem with that and i can buy one of these you know what i'm gonna do a couple things here and i, I think this is a good plan i'm gonna go with shattering shells but i'm gonna go with bigger blast so it can just take down everything hopefully i'm hoping that's how that works i don't think it will though huh it's kind of a waste no it doesn't even work it doesn't get down that far that's just a waste i'd have to buy two of them so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna sell all of this and the reason why is because i can now buy a crippled moab and between the two of these i don't see any moabs getting past us and then these two are great cleanup to begin with and so is he we can buy another one and his damage is just gonna start going ballistic. Dude, I might use him on chimps. I think I'm going to. That's gonna be wicked. Cause then if you if you overclock this guy and put him in a village, won't he just be ridiculous and he can pretty much solo a bad? I mean, obviously not take everything down, but we'll have other people with us. The only problem is though, is when I do this, I don't know if I'm sacrificing time because now the ninjas cannot help pop. This guy holds him there. Like if it's one Z OMG, for instance, he's gonna hold it there off the screen while this guy attacks it as well. So is this damage that they're doing fast enough to make up for the fact that these aren't attacking at all? I don't know that answer, but I do know that I'm gonna first strike this guy on 80 because there's two ZOMGs. So if I worry about the first one with Etienne's ability and then first strike the second, it should be pretty quick. But I think there's even a ZOMG on, on 79, right? Just a regular one, but that's fine. We'll sacrifice that one so we can use the abilities on the second one on 80. <laughs> And then why not let's make it a little faster with this guy a little sticky bomb there we go okay as soon as it turns to 80 there you go we're gonna use that ability the first one's gone and then we see the second one we're gonna go like this there we go game over that actually worked out for once i love it i always say for once but we when we time things it does actually work out for us in a good manner and i love that impoppable don't know what we're gonna do about this though i think we might get dunked on but we can maybe just do what we just did. And it'll, oh, do we have more? We have more? Why do we have so much money? What do we do with all this money? Oh, it's not chimps. We get all of our, oh, we get our like monkey knowledge and stuff. What a dummy. Okay, same thing though. We're just gonna leave it on strong. And I'm gonna try to go straight for Etienne because we need that global camo as fast as we can here. So that's the plan. And guys, I think we're making really good time. Like I don't think my intro could have taken more than 10 minutes. And on my end, it says an hour and 55 minutes is how long I've hit the record button. So we might be doing really, really, really solid. Or I mean, we could be doing terrible too. But I think we're doing really, really good. And for sure, we should beat our all of our advanced times unless I make like a big fat fumble on Impoppable or Chimps. Now, I'm going to ask you guys a serious question. And I need a serious answer. Do you not like seeing the Druid as much? Like, do you not use them in your playthroughs? And do, would you like me to use a different tower? Just because the thoughts that go through my head is like, this guy's really, really cheap for what he does. So I could use a mortar, yes, and place him right there and use the stun shells and all that stuff. But it's never going to be good as the Druid. As soon as the Druid has his Druid of the Jungle, it's global and it wrecks everything and it's really, really cheap and there's no alternative. There's literally nothing that comes close to it. And so do you guys mind that I use them a lot or would you prefer when I stay away? Cause I do try sometimes obviously, but it's just like for a map like this where things get away and our only last defense is the sniper. It's like, dude, there's nothing comparison. Like a mortar is great, but I'm not gonna take the time to go over there and micro it around. 
The spike factory is at the back. A Nevermiss targeting costs a lot. We can't use a sub or a boat on this. So it's like, that's our option. But if you guys let me know in the comments, and you say, dude, really stop using the Druid, blah, 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 blah. I'll give it a go. But I just don't know what else would be comparable. But I do like this map so far. It is a lot different than all of the others. It might just be like turned a little different. Maybe that's why, because it's going like up to down instead. But I do really appreciate that. And it has felt like a different game. I never use a sniper. And we've been like completely soloing like the main tower of each game has been the sniper. I find that really, really cool. I was going to go for another farm, but then I went for this one first. Now I'm wishing I would have gone for the farm first because I can afford all of it. Doing pretty good. And you know why? It's because of Druid and he has global camo now. So no camo gets passed. No, nothing gets passed. We're going to take down this one on 40. Hopefully if I can use my ability in time. Yes, I did. Woohoo. So it should be clean. All right. Not terrible. Not terrible. I, you know, I should go for the bottom path sniper right now, but I just, I want to farm. I'm just so greedy. It's not greed. It's just like, you know how that works. Like they tell you, well, they don't tell you in school. That's the problem, but you need to start putting money into like index funds when you're 18, not when you're 30. You know what I mean? But you don't. And so I need to start farming now. But at the same time, like I do need the power too, dude. Monkeys is so much like life. You have no idea. It's so crazy how that works because you tell yourself in life, like you need to like build up your career better and do better at this and pay off the debts and get a nicer car because your car's falling apart. But then you're like, no, I need to invest. And that's exactly what this feels like right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get crazy. All right, let's just get this one up here and we're getting a little bit overwhelmed No, because we have a druid so we're okay So I need to get this last marketplace and then I'm done and I'm done We're gonna get no we can't get elite defender, huh? We don't need that yet I don't know actually normally we would just go for it But he's not strong enough to take down all these moabs on his own because I like I need the village And that's what I kind of want right now, but as you can see he can't even hang. Oh my god He can't even hang. I'm not gonna risk that. Okay, so that was a stupid idea We have to go with that first and that's super weird on impoppable? Okay, that's that's the downfall of going with this tower first. Dang, 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 dang. Okay, so we'll go like this then for now. That's not actually a terrible idea. And I have an ability, I didn't even use it. What a dummy, that's my fault. So the goal is the same as always with impoppable. I'm gonna get this up to a monkey town because he's doing all the damage, right? I'm gonna get this up to a monkey town before I get to the elite defender. And then I'm gonna try to knock out an elite defender before 63 on top of everything. But I want those 50% extra pops. I think that is very, 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 very worth it to me. There we go. And while we got the double discount, I want to buy you up like that. And then we'll sell this one. See, now we're getting that money's flowing in, like insanely flowing. And now I can believe, oh no, that's what I was supposed to do. Oh my goodness. What a genius. Oh, and I can't even place. I didn't think this through at all. What a dummy. There it goes. It fits. It fits. That's good. All right. All right. Genius. Oh my goodness. That was a huge like fumble. And that's what I'm talking about. Those are the mistakes I make, but we got it here. Now we got our jungle drums. We got our stronger stimulant. I'm happy with it. Everybody's happy. We're going to buy a village here, hopefully. See, like that farm's totally inside of that village, but like it doesn't care. It's so weird to me. And it fits right there. It's so weird. And then once I think it's 11,000, I remember. We, now we do this. Now we got a banana central. Heck yeah. And then I believe can we fit another one right there. Unfortunately, that is a no go. Okay, this one is definitely off the top of my head because I was just running around in circles with my head cut off for sure. But I think we're in a good spot. Nothing's getting past me and I've gotten some farms. I was just trying to get them all in range of a village if I could. Um, I believe this is going to start overwhelming us, but I still just want to greed for one more banana research facility. And then I'll buy this guy here because I think Elite Sniper will help a lot. And then I'll probably get a crippled mob because I believe it should fit right here too. Yeah, in range of everything, we're good. Because I'm not really worried about like 80 and stuff. It's just the later rounds are going to take forever, but we do have an ability for everything. And there's our banana research. So we got four farms here now, just kicking it. So should be able to grab an elite sniper. Now, the thing is, is I don't think we should go with an apex because we waited so long. Usually I'll have it by 80 and just call it a day, but I think we waited too long. So what I would like to do is just buy a bottom path plane. But if it's not in range, then it's kind of a bummer because he's not going to get those extra pops, which help out tremendously. So I'm wondering if I could sell this guy and put it here. And unfortunately that's a no-go. So let's just put it, in. I guess it really doesn't matter. Let's put it anywhere. Oh, we can put it there. Oh, it's in range of that. That's that's actually what we wanted. That's perfect. Oh, and then I can even do this and I can use this to sell them for more money. That is so cool. Cause I think it still works for that. So now we got 75,000, 95,000 and we only need 91,000. Oh my goodness. Well then what are we doing here? Let's just use this ability, use this ability. 
Well, first, before we buy that, then I'm buying this one last one because I think this will be like really, really awesome. Oh, no, 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 no. We can't do that. Oh my gosh, I keep forgetting all these things. Okay, okay, stop, 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 stop. Just use your brain. If we go with that one, then the sniper will stop it and we can't use our flying fortress and then it's just a flying pile of turd. And so I'm just gonna go with that one and then we'll go with uh, this one there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We'll sell this one because we don't need the money. We'll sell this one because we don't need the money. We'll speed them all up like this. And then we have enough for an alchemist, the big alchemist. Because we don't need this one anymore either. So boom, permanent brew. And just to make it less messy on the screen, I'm going to sell all this stuff too. And Etienne really needs a Kindle at this point. He doesn't need a lamp head and all that kind of stuff. I gave that stuff up years ago. All right, now what else can we do? We're done. That's it. Game over. Who cares? We got a dragon that's level 22. Oh, dude, we are killing it. I'm thinking this might help out just a little bit. Maybe speed it up. Get some embrittlements going here. Dude, we are making really good time though, I feel like. Or maybe not. Yeah, we're only at two hours and 10 minutes and that's given that I had like a long intro and stuff. We are killing it. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. But for the big old bad, let's do this. Let's get all the way up to here and let's, let's buy two of them and we'll just onslaught it very quickly. Let's actually onslaught it very quickly. How about that? Like super quickly, like how about that? <laughs> I actually don't know if I've ever done this. This is going to be really cool on a hunter. I'm just going to blast four first strikes. That's super cool. One, two, three, four. That was so fast. That's the fastest bad we've ever beaten. That was awesome. Well, actually, I don't know. Does the other one do it faster? The Apex Plasma Master? Probably not. Okay, now here's chimps. Here's what I'm nervous about. I don't know what we're actually going to do. So we're going to go like this one. No, oh, dude, I'm actually nervous about this, to be honest. And then we'll do a sniper right there on strong. I'm thinking that's the plan and then we'll buy a dart. So we're gonna have slow start here, but it's chimps mode, so it's understandable. But that's actually good, not bad, not bad, not bad. Then put this one here, there we go, do it fast, there we go. Oh yes, 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 yes. Now can we get 920 for an Etienne? I actually think we can, because we don't have those impoppable prices and we did it with impoppable, I believe. But we had monkey knowledge and we had like a free dart monkey, but still. Oh, I had to move it back and forth from strong to first. That's a little crazy because this wasn't enough for it. But I believe on 10, we should be okay. And so then I should have Etienne. We just need that global range. So, I mean, I got to go for it. You can't not. Oh, just like that. There we go. Perfect. Put her or him right here. I'm not even sure. And then I want to say Druid first, but then I'm a little worried because we don't have camo. But I don't think we need camo, right? Like, yet. Yeah. Oh, no. Etienne will have camo by 24, I would imagine. Oh no, 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 no. I almost lost right there. I wasn't paying attention he's not on first. Okay, get out of here with that. Okay, he can see camo now. So we're, everything's good. We are not gonna lose anytime soon. That is so good. But now I feel like I need to start getting, I don't know, what, what do I actually need to do? Should I go for the sniper first? I feel like I should, but will we have enough to get where we need to be? Oh, I'm so used to having like road spikes and ugh, mana shields that I don't care. So I'm so nervous about this. But technically, I should be able to get all the way up to a fourth tier before 40, right? Because I'm not farming, so I'm not wasting any money. I didn't know I'd get this so quickly. There's a chance I might be able to pull off Elite Defender before 50. And then we don't have to worry until, like, no round at all. Oh, my goodness. Is this really this going to be... Okay, don't get too big-headed. Every time I do, I make fatal, fatal mistakes. But this feels way too easy. I am going to try to time this right there. Do I do it right? Okay, okay. We cleaned it. Okay, that's fine. That's all we needed. But we have camo led now with him. We have Etienne on... Why divide and conquer? I don't even know what the heck that means. So I'll just leave him on first. And then we got this guy, but we'll have 15... Oh, we're almost there. We've seen $10,000. 47 and 49 are going to be sketchy. So I think I'm going to try to use the ability. Yeah, those those ceramics get out of hand. I knew it would. Okay. Now 49 is going to do the same exact thing. But I don't know if... I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can do it. Hurry up and regenerate, dude. You could lose this. What can I put down just in case? Like, I'll slow it down just to think about it. Like, maybe a bomb, like, at the back. I would, That would really screw up my plan. But, I mean, if it happens, it happens. Oh, no. It's, oh, we're already there. Okay. Just 49. Hurry up. Hurry up. Oh, we got it. I don't even need it. Oh, okay. Okay. It was just 47. We're good. Give a little bit of love from the alchemist. A little bit of love from the village. And now we got a team. That's what I'm talking about. And as you could probably guess, this is going to be my plan. This is what I'm going for. I hope it's not a bad idea, but I want 37,800 for the Spirit of the Forest. And the reason why is because my idea here is that Spirit will clean up everything as will this guy too, but he also takes down Moabs. And then if I can get a cripple Moab, the top path fifth tier sniper, what we can do is we can have him take down all the bad stuff and then these two will clean it up indefinitely and it'll be a beautiful, quick strategy. Just have to hope it works.
and we can get there. I'm just worried about DDTs, obviously. I always worry about DDTs. I know I say it a lot, but like there was just never a time in my life that I would say that I would use a Spirit of the Forest so much, and especially on chimps. But this series has enlightened how great the Spirit of the Forest is, not just for going fast, but just for destroying chimps in general. And I'm so proud of the Spirit for all of his shortfalls over the years now, how great he is. And I'm hoping we can get through six to three with just these two. Oh my goodness, it didn't even get past us. I'm sure a lot to do with that was the Alchemist, but that just shows how far we're gonna make this. And then I still have a second ability that I have in my like, you know, left pocket over here just in case. So I'm not going as fast as I possibly can because I'm not using a second ability. I'm not using Etienne's ability because I just want to keep myself safe. I only need 5,000 more dollars to be able to get Spirit of the Forest, so I don't want to mess it up. And I know 75 can be rough, so I don't want to do any timing or anything like that. And are we not even able to get it by 75? That could be bad. 75 could wreck us essentially. But I think what we could do last second would be, well, I don't actually know. I just hope it doesn't come to that. That's all I can say. No, we're still in 74 and you're still racking up money? Dude, we got this. Because then what we'll do is we'll use this ability to take down the crazy stuff like this one. And then we'll use, at the last second, we'll use the good ability to like help us out with this stuff. Yeah, and then Spear of the Forest and then we're good. Oh yeah, cool. All right, now we got these super strong brambles up front. Like they're really strong right here. And I want this stronger stimulant to be better. I need it to be better. So there we go. Now what I need to do now is put this in range of the village, but I don't want it to be in range of the alchemist. And I don't think that's possible. Oh no, right there, perfect, perfect. Then we're gonna go all the way up and then we're gonna keep him on, oh, I don't know. Should I go with like the middle path slow one? But it's better, right? And it's safer. Cause I'm thinking like the DDTs, you know, you'd want him to stall all of the DDTs, but if it's worse, that's kind of scary. You know, let's just do this. I don't care, let's just do it. Probably shouldn't have bought any of them until I got crippled Moab, that's probably the better plan. Cause what I'm gonna do is not buy main Moab for a while because I don't want it to slow us down cause we don't need it. I could see us needing it on 90, but not any time before that. And if we get it, it'll just hold Moabs off the screen and make it really, really slow. So let's just wait 10 more rounds. Dude, these ZOMGs are taking forever. I can't, we can't have this, like, oh my gosh. And I wanna say it's 34,000 for the crippled Moab. So we'll just save up 40,000. Hopefully before 90, hopefully. And then if not, we'll just buy it by 90 anyway, just because. Because I don't think that this can take down DDTs. We'd have to get really lucky and hope that the Alchemist puts his acidic mixture juice on this guy, which is literally like a, a one in 1,000th chance of it happening when I need it to. I might have to buy it sooner. These Fortifieds are taking us out like ridiculously a lot. Okay, now we have four, four or three ZOMGs. Oh my goodness. This is getting out of hand, to be honest. Let's just do it now, just to be on the safe side. And then, oh, it's right there anyway. Yeah, we're right on the cusp of it. So it's not gonna hurt us too bad. And since this one is slower, it does let them out of the track a little bit better. So that's good, that's not bad. And here it is, there we go. Now we got the cripple Moab killing it. And then I'm gonna slow these guys down too. Oh, we're level 120, that's not necessary right now. Let's do that a little bit later. Now I do need to pay attention though. So if the Z Z ZDTs, DDTs get too far, we can stop them. But I think just having glue splatter, Moab glue will be very, very, very helpful for us. Oh, now we got a max level Etienne. This is actually going as perfectly as we could possibly hope. A little worried about 98, but at the same time, I'm not. We could even get the Axis of Havoc on Chimps right now. If you wanted to, and you want to take a little detour from the strategy I'm using, get the middle path. It'll help out with popping Moabs and stuff and you know all the balloons, of course, and you have this really cool strategy. What I'm thinking I want to do is go a Shattering Shell just to make it even easier for us but I don't know if that's completely necessary. I think like a first strike will be even better. Okay, I'm gonna watch this one and see how it goes, but with the slowdowns and the crippled Moabs, we might not even see nothing. Okay, oh gee, yeah, that's actually really good. That's really, really, really good. Do I need the fortified though? The fortified remover, let's just keep it safe and do it. So we'll just put it right here and then I'll just kind of like maneuver it around on 97, 98, all that kind of stuff. And then we'll keep it on these ones too so we can take down their underlings. There we go. And then we'll take down this underling just like that. And then we'll take down all of these and we'll move it back. But in the meantime, I do want to buy one of these ones just to make sure we have it. And then buy this one, slow it down there. There we go, there we go, there we go. I'm going to slow it down just a little bit just to be safe. And then I'm going to use my, no, I'm not even going to use my ability. I don't need it. First strike, let's do it, let's do it. Oh, I love this. We're actually kicking some butts right now. Oh, dude, we just did it. Okay, use your ability there. Wait for it to go down. We have our sniper, like, destroying it with some damage right now. It's going to turn to a crazy one way faster than normal. 
and then I can use my ability and it should take it out and that's it, game over. Okay, so we're gonna do this one a little bit different this time. We have 900 bucks, that's so awesome. We're gonna go like this, advance, say FN9, boom, that's the timer. On my boom count, now I gotta go back to editing real quick and see how long it took. I'm honestly not sure you're gonna even believe this. That seemed fast to me, but not as fast as I'm about to tell you. We started it, and since I placed Etienne down before I hit play, I started it as soon as Etienne was at above the spot I was going to place him, and that was at 3 minutes and 18 seconds, and then I finished it and said boom at 2 hours, 27 minutes, and 56 seconds which is an unbelievably time of fourth place at two hours, 24 minutes, 38 seconds. And then I just made it nine, nine because I couldn't get that low of a time. So I just put it as max as possible in case another one pops up in the future. Oh my goodness, fourth place. And I triple, quadruple, quintuply checked it 75 times. I was like, there's no way, there's no way. And sure enough, there is a way. And so what I did was I went into my editing software and I took the time that I placed that team down into the time that I said boom. I did not hit pause or breaks or nothing in between. So that is the total time. That is insane. To be honest, I'm second guessing myself thinking like I messed up on something or what could have done it, but it really was a fast run. It really was now that I think about it. There's a couple mistakes, but no like huge flaws and everything stayed so far up on the track with the sniper. I think the sniper is the new tower to destroy everything with. And I'm glad we used it because that was awesome. So out of 27 black borders now, oh my goodness, that one was a fourth place. Let's click this monkey because I'm never going to do it. It's going to make me go crazy. Spin that monkey knowledge because we're almost close to getting the, oh, we're actually are. Do we get it? All military base monkeys cost reduced by 5%. That is going to help us so much. We are moving through these magic monkeys and monkey knowledge and we have tons of cash. Dude, I am so stoked at this account. We're building it up so nicely. Let me know which one you wanna see next, but I am going through the rest of my day completely happy with the smile on my face because that was awesome. And if you have not yet, check out this video. We black border encrypted as fast as we possibly can. Even though it seems like a slow map, we find a way to make it super, super fast.